everyone, it's me again and welcome back to another client tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a floating cut crease, quite warm colours paired with like a nude soft lip. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look on this absolute beautiful angel, then please keep watching. So first of all, I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Pro Brow Pomade and lightly defining this under the brows with an angled brush. And then I'm going in with the Ella Masca Brow Powder in the shade Gaze and I'm just lightly putting this through any sparse areas of the brows as well. Now I'm going in with the P. Louise base in the shade 5 and I'm going to lightly line underneath the brows and define that area. Gradually coming towards the front to get that definition. Now I'm going in with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to pop the base all over the lid and really work that product in. Make sure it's an even kind of layer all over. Now I'm going in the P. Louise palette in the shade Queen and I'm going to just pop this all over the lid right from the outer corner right to the inner corner and just pop in that like just up to the crease don't go any higher than the crease but just keep it really really packed all over the lid Then I'm going in with a kind of burnt orange shade next to it and buffing out the outer edges with a more fluffy brush. And all I'm using from this palette so far is kind of like the, the reds, the oranges, the kind of burnt sun-kissed colours and just keeping these layers on top of each other but I'm going like kind of darkest to lightest first. Just keep buffing and buffing the edges, you want it to kind of look like a gradient of colours from like red to orange going upwards. And I'm going in with the shade P. Louise as well. And I'm going in with the shade Bestie and kind of making sure that I'm buffing all that into the socket and kind of like deepening the colour but you don't want to go too dark with this colour, you just want to keep using the same brush and keep buffing that in. And oh my god, I had a massive issue so my camera basically stopped recording. So in my last video you'll notice how I did a half cut crease. So basically start off as you were doing the half cut crease and pop the product, the same base that we used all over the eyelid, starting from inner corner in like a half kind of semi-circle shape we're going to create on the lid. Once you've got your semicircle, you're then going to kind of wing out the product as if you were doing like a winged liner. If you're doing it on someone else, make sure their eye is open and you're following the shape of the eye socket and bringing it right out and then you're packing the product all over the lid. I'm so sorry that this didn't record, like I'm so annoyed, but I'm sure I'll have another tutorial in the future where I can like thoroughly go through this step with you. So now I'm going in with the Peaches and Cream pigment in the shade Luxe. And this is a beautiful pigment and I'm just packing this on with a flat brush all over where I've put the concealer. And because your concealer's wet, the product's really, really going to stick to it well, so keep the product wet and don't set it. And just keep packing and packing the product on. Next I'm going in with just like a little bit of concealer and just sharpening up the edge, just to make sure it looks really clean, really neat, and just sharpens it all up and kind of wings it out. But you don't have to be like too precise with this bit. and I'm just lightly buffing over that just so it's easy when we've got the foundation and concealer on. This is really going to help like blend it into each other. So just kind of buff the edges out lightly. Next I'm going in with a Maybelline eyeliner and I'm just popping that in the waterline underneath just to create a smoky look. I'm keeping the top lid like really not dark at all and just keeping all the darkness underneath. Now I'm buffing out just underneath with the exact same gel eyeliner with a small fluffy brush. Now I'm going to pop on some really fluttery lashes and these are in the shade Naughty by Prima Lashes. These are a beautiful kind of winged out lash. Make sure your client always kind of looks down and keeps their eye open when you're applying lashes. Now 
Now I'm going in with um, Matte Veil by Illamasqua and this is a primer made for oily skin and Tando does have really oily skin so we just pop this on and keeping it in the t-zone and only really in the oily areas of the skin so just popping this in the t-zone area mainly around the nose and like chin and jaw area And now I'm going in with foundation and I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid, this is a beautiful foundation and I'm going in with a peaches and cream brush to apply this. All products and all brushes are going to be linked down below in the description box. And just make sure you're really really working the product into the skin. Now I'm going in with concealer and I'm using the Nip and Fab concealer in the shade 25 and I'm just popping this under the eye area. And you'll notice that that concealer kind of joins into the concealer that we put at the side of like the eyeshadow. So now that's all buffed and you can't really notice that line anymore. I'm just popping some on the chin and, and the T-zone to kind of brighten up that area. Now I'm going in with the shade Bestie and just popping this under the eye. I'm just highlighting in the inner corners with a little bit of highlighter and under the brow bone. And now I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade Chestnut and I'm kind of just contouring like ever so lightly with this. I don't want to contour too much but I'm just popping like a little bit of warmth back into the skin. And I'm just starting from the tip of the ear and working that product down the way. I feel like I literally didn't need to contour at all because she has the most like perfect face shape so easy for me. And now I am powdering in the T-zone where we put the concealer just with the Ella Masca translucent powder and just popping a light layer of that on. And now I'm putting blush on. This is Rocketeur by Benefit and this is just like a nice little flusher colour just over the cheeks. Now I'm going to highlight the high points of the face with the Mitchell palette. Just popping this on with a really small, light dense brush. And time for nose contour. So I'm using the Illamasqua foundation in the shade 18 I'm sure. And I'm just popping this on a fluffy eyeshadow brush and like taking this down each side of the nose. and then lightly buffing that out with a clean brush just to make sure it's not too harsh. Now for the lips, I'm using a Makeup Revolution product but I don't know the exact shade um, so I'll leave it down below and I'm just lining the lips with this, it's a beautiful colour. Are you not just so jealous that your lips didn't look like that because I am? Um. 
and now I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics lipstick in the shade taupe and I'm just popping this all over the lips. And now I'm just popping a little bit of mascara on lightly underneath the lashes just to kind of like pull all this together. And that is the finished look. Thank you so much to everyone that's watching my videos. I really hope you're enjoying them and if you have any recommendations for any tutorials you'd like to see next, please comment below. If you'd like to see more regular content from me, please follow me on my social media and stuff like that. And I shall see you in the next video.